Hey guys, I'm Grace. I am filling in for Chuck today on the weekly update. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys freshwater livestock that we got in and saltwater livestock. We also got some corals as well. So stay tuned. This week I got in mandarins. I have a lot. <laughs> um, I accidentally ordered too many. I think I have about 10. <laughs> that's probably the most I've ever had at one time. I have male and female. The majority of the females are small. The majority of the males that I have are large. So if you're looking for one, I got them. Over here we have yellow tangs. I've got about four of them in stock right now. You need to come get them while you can because I've already got a lot of people asking about them. Here we have a dwarf flame angel. Um, I don't get them too often. This is actually the first one I've had in about a month, sadly. Like I said, it's the only one I got. Come get it. <laughs> All right, so right here I have a little flame hawk. Um, again, I don't always have these, but when I do, it's definitely a statement fish in your tank because of how bright red it is. You don't find a lot of saltwater fish that are really that bright red, if any, honestly. All right, we've got peppermint shrimp in stock, and I think I've got about a hundred of them. We have been missing these for a long time, and even though I always put them on the order, uh, I've been zeroed many, many times in the past couple months. So if you're looking for peppermint shrimp, I got a ton. So we got purple firefish. Um, this, again, is the only one I have. I did have two. Uh, I sold the other one. A uh, beautiful fish, again, one that used to be pretty common for me to get. Um, now here lately it's been a little rare, uh, but I have one, so if you want him, let us know. He'd be good in any reef tank, um, the corals, all that, but again, sometimes a jumper, so keep a top on your tank. Hey guys, it's Hayden, so uh, I got in a bunch of corals yesterday. Got in some nice candy canes, A cans, favias. Got frags and colonies, so if you're looking for anything really cool, I would come check them out. You come talk to me, basically anyone here, because we're all pretty knowledgeable about corals, so definitely come check them out. All right, guys, so you just saw me show you all the coral. Uh, Chuck's MIA for some reason, so uh, I'm gonna show you freshwater today. So here we got some uh, small assorted peacocks. We've had a lot bigger ones recently, so we decided to order some smaller ones for people that are just starting off. Got some really nice ones in there. I would definitely come check them out. All right, guys, so here we have some uh, turquoise and gold cross severums. Kat brought these in, I think, a day or two ago. Since they're a hybrid, we actually don't know what they're going to be. So if you're looking for something really cool and interesting, I would come check them out and grow them up and let us know what they'll be. All right, and here we have the yellow rainbows. We get them in every once in a while. Not too often. We try to keep them in stock. If you're looking for a cool yellow schooling fish, these are definitely the ones I would recommend for like angelfish stuff like that so all right here we have the turquoise also in the same tank if you're looking for a bunch of interesting rainbows you can mix them no problem they don't really bother each other too bad okay so here we have something really cool and really interesting that we almost never get in these are the exodon paradoxus also known as the buck tooth tetra they eat nothing but fish and prepared um, fish, silver sides, stuff like that. They don't get too big. The cool thing about them is they're actually worse than piranhas because piranhas are kind of timid, whereas these guys, they don't care at all. So here we have the Sturbii Cories. We try to get them in all the time, but availability has been very limited recently. So we have them in stock right now. So if you want them, come get them. So here's the baby needle nose gar. We never get these guys in, especially this good looking. Eats nothing but small fish, crayfish, stuff like that. They're very cool. They'll get about three to four foot long, so they definitely need to be in, probably a pond would be the best situation for them once they get bigger. So here are the gold barbs. They're an awesome schooling fish. They are known to be fin nippers, so I would kind of watch them carefully if you're trying to do long fins, stuff like that. But other than that, they're awesome. Hey guys, I wanted to make everybody aware that we are doing a food donation um, to Oliver Gospel Mission this year for Thanksgiving. Um, and basically, any non-perishable food item that you bring in, canned good, whether it's like, I don't know, I guess a box of rice is non-perishable, right? Um, <laughs> stuff like that, bring it in, and every time you do, you get to put a ticket in the jar, and you will potentially win a BioCube setup. So just keep that in mind and, you know, just bring in whatever, whatever you got, whatever you can and try to kind of help out somebody this, this Thanksgiving. So, um, but uh, like our video, subscribe, and uh, we will be getting more fish next week.